Hello guys, I'm Dillifix. Welcome back to, uh, well, to Star Wars Into Worlds, of course, playing as the Imperial Pilot. Uh, I left you guys off uh, last time. I think that station was not done yet. It is actually done right now, which is our solar power plant facility, which will distribute its, uh, its energy cells... Well, mainly to the graphene uh, factory. I think that's going to be the most important thing to do. Now, I also left you guys off with the notion that um, I wanted to go... And let's put on the HUD again uh, and go to the map. So, trade-off. Yeah. So, I want to occupy this region. And I said I could do a distribution center over there. I could do a distribution center over there. I'm going to be changing that. Uh, let's stop the ship from moving. Because we already have one in this system. There is our trading station. Which is trading there, of course. And even if we go to Unknown Region 3 and occupy that, take the POS for ourselves, it's still a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 jumps to our one trading station. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to what could potentially be the next one and it is four jumps from each other but that doesn't really matter and i know that the graphene factory is over here and i know that the energy cells factory is over there but i do want to actually get started building a trading station in this uh particular region so that is what we'll do first at do I have a particular design on this one i think it's still like the small and then we yeah, I think it's too small, actually. Yeah, too small. Wow, I need to... I think we need to change all of that. Yeah, I think that is what we are going to be doing. Let's go to this, because I think that actually works best. Uh, configurate station. Now, what I'll do is I'll quickly just press down a medium storage, just like so. And then I'm thinking about we do, at some point, we do need to get like these uh, larger tiers. Uh, and I do want to have two of them. So this needs to go larger. Let's close that up. Uh, yeah, we'll discard it for now. Let's quickly do that. Um... I think it's like left and right, but I don't know for sure. It doesn't really matter. That's up. Definitely not. It's always the last one you select, right? I think maybe... We'll do this. So it's a 6x5x8, by by buy that license and continue. That will leave us enough rooms. Unfortunately, I kind of did mess that up. Uh, I will take a look if that will work. It seems like it will. Let's copy that module. Flip that around. Yeah, of course it doesn't. Now the reason I want to do it like so... Is I don't want my medium ships to go over it, but ah uh, well, it's fine. We'll just have to fit it over there, and we'll do the same over here because this eventually. Oh, that's the problem. That overlap. Mm. Let us do a base. That fit. If it doesn't, um, actually it does. Okay, cool. Uh, copy sequence. That didn't do anything. Would it fit here? It actually would fit. So that is not a problem. How about now? Yeah, that would go. So in the future, uh, we'll definitely have to change this. So once the uh, the medium, and I almost forgot, medium storage, we could actually place that. Ah, that would be absolutely hideous. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Yeah, I can't do this. Sorry. I cannot. I cannot for the life of me. I cannot w look at that damn station. We need to change that completely. Let's uh, do it like so. Buy that. Fine. I just hate the idea that large ship will be blocking this. I just don't like that at all. Uh, I do not want to use medium storage to the sides. And the reason for that is eventually we'll change it. And it will have to be tearing down everything. If I could get myself... Yeah, I think I do... Yeah, I know I don't make sense. Okay, forgive me. We need the discs. So we can actually get some guns on this in the future. That is what I need to get. It's not that expensive, but it's still a bit of a travel, unfortunately. Um, so that is what I need to do. Yeah, okay. I know, I know. I should have thought about that before, but I didn't. It's fine. We will actually... I'll, I'll be skipping out to traveling because that's just annoying. The one thing that I do is I need to check. Graphene, why are you being supplied... It is currently set on private. Maximum amount. Jump completed. The what is the power plant doing? Looking for trade. What's the problem? The problem is it is one out of two. That sometimes happens. Uh, remove assignment. Uh, trade for commander alpha. Two out of two. That should work. Let's take a look. He's also... A good amount of jumps actually away. I hate it when the map is not. Yeah. Will he actually go back? Yeah, there we go. Fine. Good. So he'll be taking that and he is going to be dropping off the graphene over here. Now, actually, while we fly, we can actually do another few things. Uh, we need to go to play information, global orders. Uh, we have the trade rule that is set like private. Like, fine. There's another one we, that we actually need. Uh, which is... Um, uh, I'll just call this to... Jump completed. Sell. Expandia. And I'll restrict only my own faction and the reason for that is we need to make sure uh, and we'll just call this to this rebute confirm that so this did I mess that up no it's restricting all factions and it will allow my own faction and this one is restricting my own faction We'll use this to the graphene factory that will then distribute as well as the energy cells to distribute to the uh, the so-called trading hubs and if in the future when we need to cover a longer distance because the uh, the galaxy is just larger in terms of like the five jumps. Uh, we want to distribute as far as we can. Uh, we'll just have to use these. And then selling, we need to make sure that we do not sell to our own faction from these stations. Uh, that will create some difficulties in the future, but that is fine. We can always go into uh, the station. Say, okay, the graphene one, we know that is... Uh, do I have anything that's only a selling to my own faction? No. I, uh, no, I don't. Well, anyways, what I am going for is if you go into the behavior of a ship... Uh, you can actually set the trade restriction, uh, which it will have automatically gained from the station to actually disable that. You know, you can turn it off and then you can turn it on. Trade restriction is something else than the global order. This is a blacklist. Let's set that up currently then. New blacklist, trade restriction, trade all factions but my own. So this is to this tribute. Save that. And this one is going to be to sell. Which is to only not trade with 
My faction. Jump completed. Oh, I'll confirm on. changes. There we go. So this way we, even our ships, even if we change the behavior of our ships, uh, that is going to be uh, against what the manager of a station wants, it still won't loop. Then there is another blacklist that we desperately need and it is sector travel. I do not want civilian ships to travel through systems that is owned by an enemy in general. So this is going to be um, a Civ anti tra travel is that how you type that? No it's not. Travel hostile. Uh, and I need to actually take a look how you spell that. There, uh, uh, all style factions, ter territory, yeah, whatever. Uh, is this an I? I, I honestly don't know. Whatever, it's fine. Who cares? So we're still on route now. Where are we currently? Uh, well, f four more jumps. So see you there. Actually, Jump completed. Yeah, it minor. seems that we are, we could be lucky. Let's take a look. Are we lucky? Yes, five out of five, zero out of five. That's fine. Five out of, okay. So this trading station now has a level five uh, agent. So we kind of don't need these two anymore to be set up like that. Trading station, overview, Rufin. It's buying in at a hundred. I want you to on distribute, and the sell will be to sell. There we go. So they're going to be selling. They're going to be distributing. We could in, we could technically take this automatic pricing off, uh, because we are not allowed to trade to our own. Uh, station, so it won't be looping. The one thing that could potentially ruin this in the future is if that other station is too close. So Jump let's just completed. put you at a hundred, which is fine. Uh, food ration is still buy in and sell or radonium, fine. That looks good. Let's go to the graphene factory and I want you to be placed on a to distribute and automatic sell is going to be at one. Sell all but one. Now these two guys uh, we're going to be setting up in the trading station as a beta group. Unfortunately they are both on repeat orders. Um, actually, let's just do it like this. Uh, remove all orders and assignments. Go here. Change that name, otherwise I will be confused Jump in the future. Completed. There we go. And... Assign two. So, we now have a few traders that hopefully will go out of their way to get the graphene which is with an amazing buy price of one and then sell it to the station which buys it in at a hundred uh which will be the same case for over here and, and i know that the station the trading station that is going to be here will be supplied with the graphene uh first uh we can do the same with the energy but uh, the problem that we would create is that the energy f uh, station needs to supply this station at all times. And it's currently just set Jump to completed. distribute. Bastion. No, actually that's not true. Uh, but it should be actually working. Let's, let's, uh, let's actually check out if it is working the as intended. Uh, well, I guess I have to wait, which is fine. Okay, are we there yet? Yeah, we are. Okay, no need for me to cut out Auto anymore. Disengaged. Uh, oh. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, there's some ships here. Um, I actually flew past uh, one of those XL ships, which is 
Ac that cool. <laughs> bloody expensive, but they are bloody Shipyard. cool. Uh, let's see Stopping if I changed point. my uh, my setup for my joystick as well, uh, which will take me some time to change because I actually have a better. Engage. Let's not do that. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, one of the buttons that's closer to my thumb. Uh, it used to be something completely different. So yeah, every now and then I will deploy countermeasures until I am used to my new setup. Successful also, yeah, I done. actually... There's one other thing that I can mention. And it is the TIE Fighter. The, the, the TIE Defender is not for sale. Yeah. Uh, it's a huge bummer because that ship is amazing. Um, but yeah. No, it's not for sale. Um, fine. You know, we'll just have to do what we have. You. I want to buy from you the... Not the production. Defense module. And we're going for... Which is the cheapest? The bridge? What the hell is this? Imperial top defense? I'll go with the disc. Um, oh, do I want to do this already? Like, they're quite expensive. I don't have the money for that. Yeah, no. Okay, we'll just let it be for Good what it is there. right now. Uh, let's quickly go to the trade station. Configure that station. Imperial disc, Imperial disc, and then docking, docking, that will be like this, that's solid, that is container, once the medium is done we'll tear that down and we'll, um, we'll think about how we'll do it, I'm thinking about getting the solid one like below these two because they won't be moving anymore. But yeah, that's uh, stuff for the future. Medium container. Do I want to change that over here? Ah, that could work actually. Yeah, I think that would actually look better. Let's do it like that. The f problem that it does bring me is that this disc this line of fire is going to be ruined. Just put it over there. So they have to be... If this, if they are in this position, that disc won't do jack. If they are over here, that will, that do, the discs will start shooting. I think that's fine. Let's confirm that. Let's get ourselves a builder. And... Let's copy this design. Over here as well. Actually, I say copy. But we're just going to be building it. Uh, an 8 by 5 by 8 Don't think that is necessary. I think like a... An 8 by 5 by 4 maybe. What's the nearest area? Right over there. And this is just because we know that in the future, actually... Yeah, for those of you who don't know, if you place it down, it's not locked. You can always move it. There's two defensive stations. So, if an enemy fleet comes over here, this is the first target. If an enemy fleet comes in here, that is its first target. And that is that target. And I want you to be over there. So, that's one... Uh, from this angle. I don't think there will ever be hostile fleets from over this angle. So let's buy that license and let us continue. Let's see if I made a boo-boo. That would actually fit. So can we reverse engineer it? A disc. And then the disc again. Right over there. I think that basically just barely fits. Do not do that. Get it back to zero. Uh, 
Right, so that's uh, about a 350. Somewhat, this, this should be centered, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, we also need storage. Medium container at the bottom. Confirm that. How expensive? 4.8 million. Of course it is. Oh, wow. The Imperials are building like absolute crazy. Interesting. So there's going to be a lot of need for uh, the construction wares. Okay, so no builder for you. That's fine. We don't need this station to be done right away. Uh, we'll just let it be for what it is. Uh, let's go towards the original one. Uh, because I did not set up the trade. How expensive is the build? Uh, 1 million is what we have. 4.5 million is what it requires. Uh, so that is going to be on the long run. Let's close that down. Uh, the graphene business. How are you doing? Graphene is building up. Don't see... Anyone doing that yet. Uh, what are my ships doing? Like I said, my, we're focusing a lot on economy instead of exploration. Uh, he is... Dropping down... Graphene or he's buying it. He is selling. Okay, that's good. You. Uh, selling food. Not doing anything. For now. Problem could be money. I want to see him move. Okay, so I'm an idiot. And I realize my mistake. So currently, my own ships are not allowed to buy this in. That means that we do actually just need to... I think just by going into individual instructions. And just put these on, like, to sell... I think I'm doing way too much work, actually. You know what? Yeah, let's just uh, remove the to sell order. Uh, it's clearly messing up. My station. So we do definitely need to make sure that... We set up the prices the way they are set up. I think this should trigger my trading fleet to get back in here and to start selling the graphene for over 200 credits. You just have to pay attention to whatever it is that we uh, set it to buy in the near future. Because the salt price is now also back and that was missing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, definitely on me. Sorry for that. Don't do what I did. I'm an idiot. But this should actually trigger them back to start selling the graphene because we need the cash. Yeah. Now, what is the next item we want to get into? We have the energy. Let's take a look. What is needed in microchips because I know that there's still a good amount of microchips needed. They're selling here and it's a very minimum amount of 802 credits for the uh, for that. That's not English. I know. They're selling 296 for 802 credits. That is English. Uh, and they will buy it in actually quite nicely. What is needed in microchips? I'm thinking silicon Silicon wafers, actually. Uh, micro... Microchips. Energy and silicon wafer. Okay. That would be the next goal, then. Uh, where can we build a silicon wafer facility? Would it also be down here? Okay. After checking the uh, ore 
Trussy has the highest yield of silicon. So if we are going to be building a silicon refinery, it's going to be in this system. And that means that we also need to start distributing energy. I'm not going to be happy about it, but it has to happen. I can actually just set it up the way it is right now and just add the energy over to the trading station. Uh, energy cells. It's over there. Confirm that. I do not want to buy uh, do a buy order yet. And actually, actually, we can. The buy order is going to be 10. Minimum amount. What is it that we want to sell it for? Energy cells. Wow, actually, this it's quite high. Uh, let's do 15. Fifteen. There we go. No restrictions. Actually, that's wrong. There is a restriction to distribute. We're buying the energy cells from our own facility. That's a lot, by the way. That is a lot, and that is really pushing down the graphene. Let us change this to ten thousand. Uh, this is not the way you do it. That's like this. Ten thousand. Now the graphene has a lot more room. Like I said, but we don't want to overly distribute energy cells. Just 10,000 is going to be enough. And then we'll just sell it uh, forward. So we need to get back to the faction rep. We're still here. Uh, what the hell is that? Completely losing my bearings here. Okay, there's two things we need. Uh, one is storage, and that is the medium solid, and the other one is the, hopefully it's in here, silicon refinery. Oh, it's not, it's like a million, damn, it's expensive. Uh, do I want to do it now? Do we wait? Uh, that will leave me down to 600. So it's actually not that long a wait. You could say, well, you could go refine melt. Yeah, I could. Uh, I won't, but we could. Um, definitely want to go with silicon waves and then microchips. Who? Oh! Okay, maybe not. Damn. Who? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, completely surprised here. Refine metals. Okay. Um, give me a second. Let's uh, <laughs> assess. Okay, from the empire, we know that they're being sold for one thirty. They're being bought in at 216, which is not bad, actually. It's not as huge as with the graphene. Uh, but it's still not bad at all. So yeah, it's definitely going to be refined metals. Uh, so yeah, buy blueprint, module production, uh, refined metals. And this will take up all of my budget. Uh, storage is going to be medium. Confirm that. Good Thank you. Back to the ship. Let's get out of the station. Spider. And I'm still considering, like, let's put off trade here. Uh, 231. That's not as much, though. This... Okay, I'll go scout it out again. Okay, so it seems that uh, Bastion has the highest amount of uh, regular ore. That means that we're going to be building that station over here once we actually have money. Um, graphene is going down extremely fast, which is good. And it's actually also being brought in, well, a whopping hundred. Uh, and that's only that one time. Uh, that will change. <laughs> it will. It will. It will. But it will at least make us money. So let's go over here. Bastion, it doesn't need to be a large station. Uh, the graphene, how much did we actually... How many production modules? Two. Two is enough. How did it look? Oh, yeah. Medium, medium. Yeah, that actually is not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think that 
it would fit in this. Hostile fleets can only come from the bottom. And I do not believe that there's going to be hostile fleets. If if hostile fleets come to Bastion, it's it's pretty much game over. So yeah, buy that license and continue. Imperial Dock. There's a gate. Medium ships will go in there. That's nice. Medium solid. I hate it when it does that. Why would you do that? And medium container. Okay, let's uh, add the production modules, refined metals. Uh, how do I want to do that? We can actually, in the future, just put these like on the sides or something. We do need a larger plot for that. And at the bottom, we can do the same thing. Don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, let's just do it... Like so, I'm flip this one around because I don't like it. I want it to be somewhat symmetri symmetrical. Yeah, symmetrical should be the. Actually, if we do it like no, no, like this, fine. Uh, this way we can actually just add a whole row over there. Uh, maybe at the sides as well, just making a bit of a squared box. <laughs> well, probably. The design will, at some point, change anyways. This is, uh, fortunately, only a million. How much money do we still have? <laughs> yeah, almost nothing. Of course, and the Imperials are... You. There you go. You're going to be assigned to that. Now, we could also change the build and have the energy cells uh, done by distribution. So it, it, it basically is just private, just renamed. I want this to be on private and we'll do the same. Uh, we didn't build anything over there. The trade station over here, configurate station and then energy cells on distribution. That it, it's not a huge amount of money, definitely not. But, you know, all bits help, and eventually we do have enough for, the, for all of the stations. We actually can set that up over here as well. There's no reason not to put that on distribute. Prices is currently at 100%. Maybe later we'll have to change that. So we can always have it at uh, the maximum amount. But right now, definitely don't want to do that. How about you? What are you doing currently? Except nothing. You are looking for trade. Now that should actually trigger. This is still a 2 out of 2. Do I have any books on me? No, this is a basic seminar. If anything, we need to go and look for another one. Now we are at the shipyard. And they actually... Docking have the um, the trade corners over here because the Terran station I say the Terran but the Imperial stations done. around uh, disc they don't have that uh, which is somewhat board. annoying but it's fine quickly go check if there is a higher managing level now, does it really matter no because the distribution station should be picking up Can I on help? that uh, but we're here anyways yeah, that's actually... That, that's not bad at all. Let's just get that right now and go back to the ship. So, there's a lot that needs to be done. And I need to sometimes just take a look if things work as intended. Like, if this is going to be picked up. And delivered, we'll, we'll have to see. I would love to see the energy power plant uh, supply the distribution base by itself. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, though. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be dragging the video out. 
uh, this is basically all I can do. All I have to do next is start running missions. And get enough money to actually have all of the station built. And perhaps it's best if we really build a graphene factory out until we have like, I don't know, like 10 modules or something. But the, I don't I don't want to overflow the market because that would be putting an additional strain on the, Oh, that's you, huh? Yeah, no, I thought about that. An additional strain on my um, traders. And we only have four. That's not a lot. And currently, he's doing food. You're doing food. You are selling graphene. And you are still... You're actually dropping the graphene off. We need to really double up the traders, I think. Because this is growing quite fast and it's still a um it's quite a distance they need to cover all the way over there so yeah we'll have to see about that anyways thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed hope to see you next time and yeah have a good one bye bye